Hello and welcome back to Coding with T. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to manage the user state or the admin state if admin is login or log out. Basically, we are going to create the authentication repository, but not it will be not exactly same as we created in our e-commerce app. If you have already watched that, this one is going to be a bit different. So make sure to watch the video till end. So first of all, let's quickly have a look what we are going to create. Currently, you can see e-commerce admin panel, which is hosted on this URL is live. But in this dashboard, there is one problem that uh, I left it by choice. And now we are going to fix it so that I can demonstrate the actual problem. Now you can see if uh, still a lot of people tested this admin panel, but nobody highlights it. Maybe they never went through this thing. Let's say in our e-commerce app, which is a Flutter web application, I want to read direct my user to any URL only if that URL is authenticated right so let's say I'm going to enter the media URL so that now user should be redirected to the media and again you can see it is redirected back to the dashboard instead of media but when I'm going to click on this media we are on the media screen this means that the main flow is working but when I'm going to enter this URL the logic which is being used here is not working so if you avoid the previous e-commerce app series or the login flutter app series that i have created on the youtube you might have familiar with these authentications and also when i'm going to click on this logout we want to make sure that users should not be able to go to any other screen let's say now i'm going to go for the dashboard and it is redirecting back to the login screen but in here i have just changed the logic and run it on the local host and currently i'm inside the login screen this means that user is not logged in let's go to the dashboard and it should not redirect us to the dashboard screen because it is a local host so it might take some time and you can see we are redirected back to the login screen instead of the dashboard this means that user is not login but in case let's go to the dashboard by login this application it is processing and you can see we are inside our main dashboard but on the local host when i'm going to click on this media you can see the media screen is running but now inside this url i'm going to change it to products now it should take us to the product screen and you can see the product screen is right in front of us and also on the left side you can see the products sidebar is selected and again when i'm going to click on this back button we will be redirected back to the media screen so in today's tutorial we are going to look at two things the first one is keep the user login or the logout and we want to make sure that only user can access the screens or the url that we want the user to see so without wasting time let's get started so we are creating flutter e-commerce admin panel and we are in section four we have already covered all these previous sections section one was about to set up everything section two was about to learn deeply about the routes and navigations in flutter web that we are going to talk about in every video and also the section three was very important because it was typically about the responsive design for our flutter web applications to be used in desktop tablet and mobile so make sure to watch these previous videos these are very helpful and based on these three videos we have started our section four and now onward we will moving towards the completion of our admin panel and in section four we are going to swap these two last videos and the last one which is the authentication video typically will be this video the currently going on and the next video will be how we are going to register the admin into the firebase and firebase authentication whereas in this list you cannot see the reset password and forget password backend videos because those videos are exactly same videos and we do not change anything in it so you can watch those videos from e-commerce app already uploaded on youtube but also if you ask i will upload those videos as well in the patreon and i will drop the link in the description so let's get started with today's tutorial so first and foremost uh, let's open your application and inside the main dart in section one you see that we initialize the firebase which is last video of our section one and we initialize this firebase and once the firebase is initialized we want to do some other things as we did in our previous e-commerce app tutorials once the firebase initialization is completed we have to call dot then function and using then function we can easily initialize another class that we want to be initialized at the first end using get.put we can call authentication repository class this is the class that i have just created and we were working on this manner when this class is initialized after firebase initialization we initialize the authentication repository class and let me open this so where this class is created first of all in the data in the repositories i've created a folder called authentication and inside we have authentication repository dot now inside this class you can see it's 
extending or extends with the getx controller and as we discussed in section 2 that we have created a dummy instance using get.find we will be able to call its instance already created throughout in our application so only first we have to create its instance that will be created in the main dot dart using get dot put once the instance is created we just have to use authentication repository dot instance which is exactly get.find will return us the already created instance of this class. Now inside this class, first and foremost thing is to create a variable. Underscore means this is the private variable of Firebase auth dot instance. We will be using this authentication instance of Firebase auth inside our application. Next to get data of authenticated user, we will use this user and it should be from the package of Firebase auth using this user because this user can be null. So I'm going to add a question mark and it will be a getter function. So add a get sign. Then name of the getter function will be auth user create a function and using the above variable which is auth dot current user this is going to return us the current user of our application inside the authentication user now we can easily use this without calling this authentication because it is private next to check if user is authenticated or not we can call this is authenticated user it will return boolean either true or false so return private is bool again it will be a getter function and name of it will be is authenticated again i'm going to use the private auth dot current user and if it is not null this means that there is something in this user and user is authenticated and if it is null then this means it will return false and that means authenticated user is false no user is authenticated now whenever the first instance of this authentication repository is created the purpose to call that authentication repository in here is whenever the firebase initialization is created before running the application we also want to authenticate or create the instance of authentication repository so that whenever the instance will be created for the first time an overridden method will be called which is on ready this will, this function will be called whenever the function will be ready to be used for the first time and whenever this is ready we are going to usually as in old practice we create a function something like this so let me uncomment this we call the function which is a screen redirect function and in the screen redirect function we use this user from the current user and if user is not null we let the user go to the dashboard screen else we let the user go to the login screen and based on this function so if i'm going to open this and based on that thing that specific function when i'm whenever i'm going to change this to media it is not going to go to the media because this function will be called whenever authentication repository will be created on ready will be called screen redirect will redirect user to if it is login go to the dashboard else go to the login screen there is no third option so we cannot go with this option when working on the web because we have the urls so to change this method i am not going to use this function over here this was just to demonstrate you that how the previous things were working so the purpose still the purpose to use authentication repository in the main dot dart is something else uh, this is that when i'm going to copy this url and let's say we close this browser and now we want to open this again and we also want that if the user was already logged in we do not want the user to log in again if the new uh, browser tab is open so let's open it again so instead of again going to the login it should maintain the login state of that user and see it already knows that user was already logged in so that means application directly take the user to the dashboard screen so let me log out now it should take this state which is the logout state of the user and remember it so i'm going to again close everything and open it again this time it should not go to the dashboard instead to the login screen as in front of you so to achieve this manner we have to call authentication dot set persistence this means that to keep the state inside the browser persistence that i'm going to use will be the persistent dot local if i'm going to open this you can read all this definition of this set persistence changes the current state of the persistence on the current auth instance for the currently saved authentication session this means that it is going to add some session and applies this type of persistence for future sign-in requests including sign-in with redirect requests so it's going to be very useful but also if we read this line it also makes it easier to never persist auth state for applications that are shared by other users or have sensitive data this is only supported on web-based platforms so that's why we have to use this persistence and if we open this local definition it is saying that indicates that the state will be persisted in the local storage even when the browser window is closed so that's why we have to use this type of 
persistence for our firebase authentication so that our authentication state should be there whenever we open the browser right but we are not going to redirect the user from here but instead if you have watched the previous routes video we created this route middleware and we did some of this testing over here so let me remove all this so first we have to add all the screens in the routes i have created a variable the dashboard and in the app routes i have created or assigned a class of the dashboard screen which is currently an empty screen and we have defined that url over here so whenever that url will be passed dashboard screen will be appeared and inside this dashboard screen you can see it's a simple site template desktop tablet and mobile screen whereas desktop has nothing so i've just added a text in the center as a dashboard so once that is added let's go to the routes middleware and in that we have to return this route settings or we can return null because this question mark means it can be null or we have to return the route settings so let's call the return and we're going to call authentication repository dot instance because its instance is already created by calling this dot instance we'll only find the already created instance and we just have to call is authenticated function or the getter which is going to return true or false if user is authenticated or not if user is authenticated then we do not want to re redirect user to any other screen but in other case we are going to call the route settings and as a name we want to redirect user to troutes.login screen and add a constant this means that if user is authenticated user can redirect itself to any screen but if user is not authenticated he will be redirected automatically to the login screen now when uh, this middleware is created you can add any other logic or lot of code or as for your own desire so let's close this routes now inside the app routes where we have declared over all the pages whenever this dashboard screen will be called i want to first go to three uh, these middlewares we have already discussed these middlewares in the section 2 you can rewatch uh, those videos if you are confused here so by creating a middleware means that before opening or going to this screen you have to first go to this middleware or these list of middlewares so the one i am created which is p route middleware you can create other middlewares as well so this is the authentication middleware now what this is going to do again before going to the dashboard screen it is going to go to this middleware logic and check if user is authenticated then user can go to any screen or any route we have received over here and if user is not authenticated he will be redirected to the login screen and once this logic is completed now we have to run this application and in the route observer if you open this class we have created the site controller and in the previous route if the previous route is not null we want to check all the routes or all the items in the sidebar because currently we do not have anything in the sidebar so that's why we cannot make this did pop work this did pop means that whenever we are going to click on that back button this did pop function will be triggered and automatically select the active item for us in the sidebar so we just have to build all the sidebar items then based on those items that back button should work okay so our application is running currently we are redirected to the login screen but what we have to do we have to go to the app.dart and instead of this initial route we have to call the dashboard screen now instead of the login screen dashboard screen should be appeared but because we have not yet created our user to be authenticated and you can see we have redirected automatically to the login screen this means that whenever this dashboard screen will be called middleware will be triggered as well and because user is not authenticated we have not yet created the admin or we not registered the admin and we our admin is also not logged in and based on that we are redirected automatically to the login screen so once again let's trigger it and you can see we are redirected to the login screen instead of the dashboard and now in the next tutorial when we are going to let the admin register and we will be able to log into the application you will see that all the logic that we just created will be working perfectly so that's it for today's tutorial if you have any questions you can ask me down below in the comments so once again thank you for watching take care